You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> That's true. Ever wondered what happens when a Karen messes with a royal guard? Get back. Spoiler alert. It's not pretty. Bye bye. From being utterly disrespectful to having zero self-awareness at all, these Karens really outdid themselves. You're great. Stick around. You're not going to believe what happens next. Number one, when will people learn? Seriously, these people never learn. The Queen's Guard isn't a toy soldier or something. He's doing his job. And for this fool to think it's all just a joke is actually quite disrespectful. But, yeah. Get back from the Queen's Guard! The Guard's reaction is enough to scare this dude away. Number two, make way. This clip has mixed reviews. A lot of people think certain protocols shouldn't triumph over citizens. Bye bye! But how did this Karen couple not hear like 35 guards marching towards them? And at the end of the day, you can't blame these guys. Number three, polite shove. This Karen could have had it much worse. She's lucky this was a polite Queen's Guard right here because by now, I think we all know these guys don't mess around. After the lady here gets too close, the guard politely asks her to step away since she's not allowed to get close. And thankfully, she also understood the drill instead of turning into a mean old Karen. Number four. Grow up, guys. I don't get it. Why can't you just leave the guards alone? People get pictures with them like they're a tourist attraction or something. Like, grow up, guys. And I hate how people are acting so surprised now. He's just doing his job, man. Number five, zero class. Check out this Karen over here. If you ever want to see a person with no class, just look at her. She throws her glove in front of the guard and expects him to retrieve it. What world are you living in, woman? He's not your servant. Thankfully, a Samaritan comes over and politely reminds her to cut out her BS before she gets into trouble. He's even nice enough to get her glove for her only so she can leave and not ruin things for everyone else. Number six, embarrassing moment. No action in this clip, but the reaction is priceless. One of the guards eventually snaps and tells this up to no good Karen to leave immediately. Oh! Get yourself away! You can't be done if you're done there, no? And as he's walking away, you can see how embarrassed he is after getting yelled at by the guard. Oh, and the other guard was probably like, here we go again. Number seven, not a single beat was missed. These protesters clearly don't know any better. Did someone not tell them the Queen's guards do not stop for anyone? It's like they almost have a death wish or something as they nearly get trampled by like 20 guards. But that's not even the most impressive bit here. I'm actually surprised how the band didn't even miss a single note and carried on with the performance like nothing even happened. Number eight, unbelievable, right? Is this Karen for real right now? She's so blown away after finding out she's not allowed to touch the guard. I mean, crazy, right? You can't touch another human now. What a bummer. Number nine, what a loser. How fragile does one's ego need to be to start fighting a queen's guard? This dude was trying to entertain the crowd, but after realizing the guard isn't about to crack, he actually got into a fight with him. And while I'm sure this is against protocols, I'm actually glad this guy got humbled in front of the entire crowd. Number 10, what's your problem? How stupid do you have to be to pick fights with a royal guard? I mean, they don't even interact with people. But if you're getting pissed off by a guard who doesn't even react to what you're doing, 
you have serious issues, like this dude over here. He's fighting with two guards after they refuse to react to his dumb act. What a clown. Number 11, I'd be scared too. I mean, if someone yelled at me like that, I'd be pretty scared too. Get back! But I don't understand the point of shoving a camera in their face. I know I've repeated this several times, but I will never understand why people think guards are an attraction or something. Number 12. Control your kids. How to spot a Karen from miles away. Just look at her kids. These entitled brats knew the rules. No touching the fence. But after multiple warnings, they still wouldn't listen. And that's when the Royal Guard had to step in. Get off the fence! I bet no one is going to touch that fence now. Number 13. You get what you deserve. Purposely blocking the guard's way and getting shoved. So unfair and rude of these guards, right? Well, buddy, you get what you deserve. Yo, hey! Away. Like and this is what happens when acting all tough goes wrong. He purposely tried blocking their path, only to get shoved away in front of the crowd. Number 14. Could have been much worse. I bet that's what everyone does, right? Lean on strangers in public and take pictures with them. I mean, it sounds so absurd. That guy was standing where he's standing. Oh, see that? Just because he's a guard doesn't mean you can invade his space and start leaning on him. And this Karen is honestly lucky. Number 15. Lucky that was just a bump. It's routine for this royal guard as he walks around the palace checking up on his counterparts. Tourists and visitors are having a blast as they get to see him in action, walking around all tall and strong. <laughs> he uses his voice to disperse an entire group of people who are legit left shaking with fear. But for this gentleman, it's unfortunate he was standing right in his way. Number 16. Ruining the fun for everyone. If an entire group of teenagers didn't cause any trouble, I can't imagine who will... People are coming, getting some nice pictures with the guard before leaving, Al in a civil manner. But this Karen right here thinks she's special. <laughs> She's trying to get a picture, but our horsey over here is feeling a bit adventurous. He's just playing around. But this Karen actually slaps the horse a few times. The fuck? Why not just move away, lady? The guard yells at her to get away. And honestly, it's people like her who literally ruin the fun for everyone else. Number 17. Disrespectful. It's just embarrassing to watch tourists disrespect the guards in their job. But check out the brilliance of this Queen's guard. All right! Stay clear of the archway! He cleared the entire area without any trouble whatsoever. Plus, at the same time, it's kind of hilarious to see how most tourists go into panic mode when they hear the guards stomping. Number 18. Annoying tourists. Look at the metal this guard is packing. He could have done some serious damage if he wanted, but despite the annoying tourists, he still held his composure and continued walking like nothing had ever happened. Believe it or not, these guards were actually discouraged from wearing their uniforms back in the 70s due to potential attacks. I sure hope it doesn't turn into that again. Number 19. Why are you acting surprised? What did you expect, miss? You're trying to mess with a Queen's Guard's horse. And if you ask me... <laughs> she's lucky nothing serious happened. People often have a habit of forgetting that His Majesty's Guards are very well trained. Just let the Guards do their damn job. 
What's so hard about that? Number 20. What's with the attitude? For real. What's with all the attitude? Do people not know there are rules to taking pictures with the royal guards? Move back! Oh my god. Move back! It's our job! And if they're asked to leave for violating a rule or protocol, they act so surprised. Like this dude over here who's showing so much attitude. How about you not messing with the horse, bud? Number 21. A series of dumb events. I don't blame some tourists for being so unaware. New place, new people, new traditions, but the signboard is right there. <laughs> and he's standing on a flip-flop. <laughs> oh, the horse might kick or bite you if you get too close. <laughs> and while this lady couldn't retrieve her flip-flop, a kid actually went in for it. Out of everything, that is perhaps the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Number 22. Horse Whisperer. Calm down, Karen. You're not a horse whisperer or something. It blows my mind how some people can be so ignorant. Stop Let's just try to mess around with a royal guard's horse. Sounds like a really bright idea, right? And I don't know why she's acting all innocent ever. Number 23, I'm offended. Check out Kevin over here. He seems all cool at first, but isn't he being a little too fiddly here? I mean, I can't tell. Is he trying to pet the horse or run away with it? And anyone who's handled a horse before knows you never grab them by that unless you want them to move. Plus, the audacity to act like the guard was in the wrong afterward. Get your hands off the gate! Get off the gate! When will people learn? I bet these guards are having a super difficult time dealing with our weirdly intrusive public. Number 24. Where'd you run off to, tough guy? Look at this tough guy. He's arguing with the officers why they can't get close to the horse. Oh. <laughs> and when the royal guard decides to clear the area, watch how he's the first one to run off. I know a Karen when I see one. That's definitely him. Number 25. Leave the damn horse alone. What's up with this dude? The more I watch these clips, the more furious I get. Why is he holding onto the rope like that? Don't go the gate like that! I think they should teach these tourists history lessons as well. These are literally trained horses and soldiers, not some ponies you'd find at a farm. Number 26. He didn't want to do that. You can tell the Royal Guard didn't want to do this. The kids were having the time of their lives as they got to pet this behemoth of a horse. But these Karens over here ruined the show for everyone. They're getting way too chummy with the horse. And before the horse loses it, uh, Alfie, come on, love. and pretty much kicks everyone in sight, the Queen's Guard does the right thing by quickly clearing the area. And I don't even need to explain it, but it's still an animal. Number 27, rookie mistake. What a loser. Rookie mistake, Karen. Don't grab the horse from the chain or rope. Everyone knows that by now. And look at his smile afterward. I think everyone in the crowd knows he's super embarrassed right now. Number 28. Not a game. This isn't a game, Karen. And don't act all offended now. You know damn well you shouldn't have grabbed the horse like that. <laughs> Get off the reins! Number 29. It's not funny. Laugh all you want, ladies. Everyone knows you're going all red out of embarrassment. <laughs> and the worst part is, how these aren't even tourists. That's like the most basic rule there. Number 30. Kevin and Karen. Prepare for trouble and make it double. First, 
we see Kevin over here being a bit too sneaky for his own good. And finally, it was time for Karen. The guard is watching her pretty closely, because I'm sure he probably knew what's about to happen. She keeps on trying to grab the horse. And that's when we hear the loudest Get back! Get back ever. Why are you acting all surprised now, lady? Number 31, the white line. You know, if these people just stayed behind the white line, they wouldn't be getting yelled at by an adult. Just listen to that again. These adults are getting yelled at by an adult for not staying behind a line. How ironic. Number 32, not going to work, lady. I'm 100% sure this lady loves creating scenes. What is she even trying to do? She's blocking the guard's path and thinks people will sympathize with her after she got yelled at. Go away! Oh, she did you see a guard? Keep dreaming, Karen. That's never going to happen. He asked, you, he asked you to move. I've got a broken arm and I moved. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. You, you stayed there. He asked you to move and you didn't do it. But if attention was her goal, she did get that. Just for all the wrong reasons, of course. Number 33. Only rude if you're rude. Despite all the clips of strange tourists, the Royal Guards are actually quite chill if you're a nice person. This horse was kind of freaking out. And that's okay, considering we all have our days. But that's when we see this little angel step in and help the horse calm down. And notice how the Royal Guard doesn't yell at her to get back. Well, that's because she's being super respectful of her surroundings. Number 34, sense of humor. Just when you think the Royal Guards are all serious and scary, a clip like this pops up and shows you the exact opposite. <laughs> Who knew these guys would have a sense of humor? <laughs> Everyone's getting their pictures taken with this soldier, and I don't know why, but he seems a bit naughty. Watch as he quickly switches his rifle, giving this woman a literal heart attack. Number 35, a full-time job. I'm not going to lie, being a royal guard is a hectic job. Having to deal with super annoying tourists the entire day, you'd have to pay me thousands to do that. And in this clip, we'll see plenty of them. The first is Karen, who thinks she's a director or something, hogging the scene as other people try to get pictures. And then we have our star of the night, this lady who didn't get the memo. Number 36, wrong place, Karen. Look, I'm all for protesting. If you're raising your voice for something in a peaceful way, free, free, no, then by all means, go ahead. But at least look at the time and place. What's the horse and the Royal Guard got to do with all of this. It astonishes me how some people think these guards stand there just for their pictures and stuff. Number 38, Karens being Karens. Enjoy another montage of Karens bothering the absolute life out of our royal guards here. Get back to the king's life guard! With some ignorant dude grabbing the reins to other tourists acting all surprised after getting shooed away. Don't clear the kick left guard! It just gets crazier and crazier. And on a side note, have they not heard horror stories of people getting their bones kicked in by horses? Why would someone with even half a brain think it's okay to lean against the horses? It's about time they stopped the tradition before someone gets hurt and blames their own stupidity on the guards. Thank you, the King Guard! Number 30. Nine, control your kids. 
Want to see the difference between civilized and uncivilized? Look closely. Here, you can see tourists maintaining their distance and enjoying the show. And then we have the uncivilized ones. The guards literally had to yell at them to make way. Make way! Number 40. Why is he stomping around? Want to know the real reason why this guard is stomping around? He's fed up with the tourists. And I think by now, you already know this. The only reason why the Royal Guards go on patrol is to make sure the tourists don't get too comfortable. Also, don't try to take pictures while these bad boys are on patrol. It won't end well for you. Number 41, the difference. And once again, folks, this is the difference between good tourists and bad tourists. See the first lady, she's polite, and from the looks of it, the horse actually likes her. But not Karen over here. She literally lets out a loud scream after being told off by the guard. <laughs> and why did that happen? Well, she broke the first rule after trying to touch the guard. Number 42, some people just don't learn. Oh, let's act all offended after getting yelled at by the Royal Guard. Well, bud, I don't know why you were trying to grab the horse like that. I'd probably never visit England again if I got pushed like that by a guard. And what is with this dude? Just take the picture and leave. Why is he trying to get all cozy with them? That's it for today's video, folks. So, what do you think? Did these Karens and Kevins get what they deserved? And have you ever seen someone do something outrageous during a visit to Buckingham Palace? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like buttons and subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.